dashboard emojis. Anytime they pop up, you know, I'm like, oh, I just ignore it, cover it up, maybe it'll go away. And then the big doozy, right? My car doesn't start, I have a flat tire. What do I do? You want to know the first thing that I would do? I would call a man, right? Turns out I do need a man when it came to my car. And that wasn't very really empowering for me as an empowered woman. So I started looking for ways to empower myself with my car. And I hop on Google. I'm going to find a female mechanic. She's going to teach me about my car. I'm going to have better experiences. And I Googled female mechanic. First thing that pops up is the 10 top stock images of women mechanics. So can you imagine what those look like? The beautiful women, beautiful women in bikinis next to muscle cars. Or they've got, you know, kind of a stock photo of like a woman with like grease on her face, not really authentic, holding up a tool next to a tire that she would never use as a mechanic. Nothing relatable, nothing authentic, nothing empowering did I find. But as I was on the internet and researching, I learned that women are the number one customer in the automotive industry. Did you ladies know that? Any of you gentlemen know that? Number one customer. Since 2012, more women hold driver's licenses than men across all age groups. I know that scares a lot of guys because there's more women on the road, <laughs> but the future is really female. Women influence up to 95% of car buying decisions, right? The car we buy for the family is usually the car the woman wants. We're 67% of auto repair, yet 85% of women feel like they're taken advantage of. They don't, they feel mistreated. And I'm sure there's a lot of women in here that have stories of feeling like auto airheads or being shamed with their car or not liking to go to a mechanic or thinking that they need a guy. Women spend $200 billion a year buying and repairing cars. To me, that was power. You mean I'm the number one customer? I have all of this money and power? Why am I having these bad experiences? Why don't I feel more confident about my choices? Why don't I feel like a smart driver? That's when I decided I got to go back to school and learn how to work on cars. And I'm going to create a company that's going to change the experience women have, that's going to make women smart consumers and confident drivers. And I went back to school in 2012, maybe? Automotive Technology, University of Delaware. I'm working for DuPont during the day as an engineer. And I'm going to school at night to learn how to work on cars.